I mean, I keep, I think. It's like kind of a six card hand, but I think it's a decent six card hand. Okay. Uh, we go Stomping Ground Sacred Foundry. Don't counter this. I'm scolding my stern. I don't give a shit about that. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You can hunt master the agent. Right, okay, okay, okay. So Well the issue is then you have to get rid of all of your agents, which is kinda awkward. Which I don't necessarily want to do that. And if they're playing show and tell, then this is a good card to have in hand, obviously. Oh, they're Gigantha. I didn't see that, okay. Good call. I didn't see that. What is Forest Island Brainstorm Gigantha? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Wilderness, maybe? Yeah, you can choose up to. It's got to be Wilderness Wreck. Okay. I'm just going to cast Boromir. I think. What am I what am I Huntmaster for? Like what would I possibly get off Huntmaster here? I could get this as a land. Well, I could just do that next turn, right? So here's the thing, right? If I I can play Boromir this turn. If I draw an untapped land, great. Then I win it next turn. If I don't draw a land, then I can Huntmaster for the land next turn. That that was kind of my theory. That was what I was thinking. Yeah. <clears throat> we can end off for Galton next turn. If we, again, if we find an untapped land. Yeah, maybe voice could be reasonable too. Okay, what the hell is this? <laughs> Chat, now I'm scared. I'm scared now. Chat, hold me. Hold me. Opponent, chill. Chill out. Yeah, Boromir's a human. Gonna rock you. Now we can hunt master for the land. Do we exile agent? Okay. So just some kind of four-color mid-range deck. Looks like. Sure. Can you fail the five with the search? Yeah, like if I exile this agent, I don't have to hit all copies of it. It's up to. For any number of cards with the same name, exile them. I do have an MDFC for a land, yeah. That's what I'm going to get. I just don't know... Like, I'm not sure... Yeah, I don't want this agent. We'll get rid of the agent. And then I think... Maybe I keep two in deck. Because that gives me a land drop for turn five as well. Then I keep two in deck for potential Winota hits. I guess I don't need the extra land. I could just keep all three in deck. Yeah, I guess I could. Just put this in hand. It's probably not that bad. Yeah, we don't really need more than four lands. This is fine. There's really no reason for it. This Galta, Galta does not give haste, right? Oh, but we can just get Crater Hoof next turn. If we want to. Yeah, they're just dead. They are extremely dead. I believe you only get copies for the cards you exiled from hand, not library. Choose a creature card you want from the game. Conjure a duplicate of that card into your hand for each card that exiles. Oh, from your hand this way. Okay, good call. I didn't know that. So then, if that's the card, why do they even give you the option to exile from library if that's the case? Like, what would be the reasoning? Just to thin your deck, I guess? There's really no other reason for it, right? Yeah, I guess. Which, I mean, I guess that could be relevant with uh, Winota... Yeah, maybe just to add an extra two words to the card. 
It, they didn't have enough words. They, they had to meet their quota. They have a, a certain quota for number of words on a card. Okay, so we're not really ever sideboarding that much. Like, maybe the voices, but a lot of this is for the, the Huntmasters. We could cut Agent for voice. But that makes the Winotas a lot worse. Hmm. What if I just didn't sideboard? It's not even clear they have a lot of counter spells. I'm not sure we even need voice. I'm just not going to sideboard. Bring it back down, bring it back down tonight. I don't sideboard. Giga Chad. <clears throat> a mild 2800. That's not very mild at all. Uh, this feels like not a hand we should keep. <laughs> I gotta say, the opening hands of this deck look like... It looks like I'm playing a bad cube deck. They also mulligan twice, so... Alright, I have located a slightly keepable hand. Deck looks great. Thanks, Tantrum. I agree. I think it looks good, too. This might be the best deck that I've ever played. Is there a way to merge Winota with Appraiser? Eldritch Evolution nonsense. Um, well, no, right? Because you need a lot of cheap cards to enable Winota. And if you're playing cheap cards, that messes with the, the appraiser. That messes with the appraiser stuff. So I don't think there's a way to do that. Not that I can think of. Doo -doo. If only I could put the land into play untapped off Grazer. Second Grazer, turn two NO. I don't know if I don't know if they necessarily necessarily need to put both in the format, but I I do think show and tell should be addressed. I think it's a little bit too much. Virginitus is not legal now. Oh. Hmm. It's not good. You can go. That is uh, not great. Not great. At least they have nothing else. Okay. I have located a creature that can attack. Now I can attack your Ashiok. Restrict show and tell. Well, the nice thing about restricting show and tell... Uh, yeah, I mean, there are ways to find it. Assemble the team, Demonic Tutor, etc., etc. But what's nice about restricting show and tell is after the first time, like, once you've once you've fought through the first show and tell, they can't do it again. I guess they have Mystic Sanctuary, so that's not even necessarily true. But you know what I mean? I, I think they definitely should restrict it. It would certainly obviously hurt the consistency a lot too, right? If you have to play all these shitty tutors. Because like assemble the team is it's it's fine, but it's not even close to demonic tutor. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to say it, honestly. Chat, do do we wanna tell uh do we wanna tell M. Roldman why we're not casting natural order? Who wants to tell them? <laughs> any ideas any ideas now nah, i just i just didn't want to cast it i just didn't feel like casting it <laughs> don't say it don't say it don't ruin the joke honestly i'm just trying to give them a chance you know realistically that's what's happening they're not casting the spell pierce or the brainstorm what are they insane I don't get it. 
Why would you not cast the Brainstorm? Are they holding up Spell Pierce? For a natural order that I can't cast? What? I don't get it. <clears throat> really just wanted to hold up Spell Pierce, huh? Oh, let's go. You better believe I'm hard casting this Crater Hoof this game. That's definitely happening. I'm I'm a hundred percent hard casting this. Tommy is such a sweet card. I, I like this card a lot. This is one of the few alchemy cards that I'm like totally fine with. It's so good. I love that card. Fetch Shock. I play Breeding Pool. Are we casting... They gotta be casting like a Minskin Boo this turn, right? Any Minskin Joyers? Yep. Alright, let me draw a Windota, please. Any Winotas in the chat? Any Winotas? Any Winotas? How was Vamps? Honestly, it was kind of decent. Like, there was a bunch of times where I went turn one, Ritual, Soren, Vein Ripper, and it seemed like nobody could beat that. Like, Vein Ripper on turn one is nearly impossible to beat. Alright, let's go to game three. We're unironically wearing the same shirt today? No shit, really? I got this when I when I saw them the last time I saw them was a year and a half two years ago at this point. They put on such a good live show. Alright, how do we beat Ashiok? Question, does Ashiok turn off Huntmaster? You may exile a creature if you do search, period. Choose a creature you own from outside the game. Conjure a duplicate of that card into your hand for each exiled card. I don't think it does, right? Because you ETB exile from your hand period if you do search which you can't do obviously but then there's another period choose a creature you own from outside the game conjure a duplicate for each exile card from your hand this way right yeah so you can exile from hand resolve the huntmaster trigger get a card from your sideboard but you just don't get to search your library i think that's how it works so it, basically it does work through ashiok which is good uh all right game three Didn't this song literally just play? Pretty sure it did. I'm stuck in a time loop. This is turn three natural order. It's not good enough against turn two Ashiok, but it's probably good enough against everything else. Well, they probably play Thoughtseize, right? <clears throat> I'll ship this. I know, we have a Surveil Land, but it's just like... So bad against Thoughtseize. I'm going to ship this. This is like kind of the same hand. What's nice about this is if we once upon a time into a one drop, we have turn two Boromir, which is good pressure against Ashiok. So I'm going to keep this. Being ignored time won't Okay. Uh, we should fetch first. Green, red. I guess fetching means that I can't get the portico. But I'm not going to get the portico on turn two anyways, because I'm just going to cast Boromir. So this is probably the right way to do it. Have I watched Shogun yet? No, I have not. I haven't had the time to watch animes. I really want to start watching them, though. I want to get into some animes. Ooh. Okay. So I can trade a Boromir in for Winota, right? That's, like, insane. And then if they Ashiok me, who cares? Because then I get two Winota triggers. Seems perfect. Uh, Do I want to get rid of the Boromirs in my library? I don't think so. Alright, well, that was good. Uh, go. 
<laughs> yeah, Winota with seven Winotas. I mean, you could also accomplish that by playing Evolution, right? It's the same thing. But we're just we just get to play a four three instead of evolution. You better have thoughtsies. <clears throat> Looks like they don't. Black. Please just play Ashiok. <laughs> nice Ashiok. Nice Ashiok, by the way. Anyways, kill you. <laughs> I don't even know if I care about Ashiok, but. Uh, sure, I guess I'll kill Ashiok. Give me your death right. You. Anyone's game, honestly. Alright, your turn. You may proceed. Maybe yeah, notice a hell of a card, huh? It's a really messed up card. Winota, good card. It really is, yeah. I can now understand why that card was, uh, that, that card got banned in, it's banned in Pioneer still, right? It has to be, nobody plays it. Yeah, it's banned in Pioneer. Did it ever get banned in Standard? I can't remember if it got banned in Standard. We can be trusted with it in Pioneer? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's the fatal bush bug. Well, that was easy. Okay, that felt pretty good. That felt extremely powerful. I liked a lot of what was going on there. What was the fatal bush bug? It's a joke. It's it's the same thing as the Thoughtseize bug. Uh I keep. If we can once into a one drop, this hand's pretty good. I guess we also need another land after that. Oh, I see. They're a fellow once gamer, huh? Well, do we one drop or do we garden here? Huh. Is it garden? It could be garden. a guaranteed third land drop to yeah i mean the issue with garden is it's awkward with the druid because like we can't go turn two druid turn three with nota attack with the druid but we do have the plant to attack which is nice this has to be a good matchup right because they just don't have a good answer to winota in California, I attack. Send a message. Yeah, I'm just going to steal their lands. If I ever hit an agent off of the Winota, they can't possibly win. I'm just start taking their lands. Uh, unless they have a main deck removal spell for Winota, which... I don't think it's even possible, right? All right, give me an agent. I'll take that, thank you very much. That's mine. That is That one is mine. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, is this a matchup where we want Crater Hoof? Probably, right? What if we did Crater Hoof? Yeah, Titan of Industry can't be good in this matchup. Okay. It's pretty good, huh? wasn't bad. I do remember that, Roro. Ooh, good hand. Excellent hand. It's good if they cast show and tell. I'm obviously keeping this. I just don't know what I put back. Like, this hand's good. It's a good seven, for sure. I almost... I almost want to put back Natural Order. Is that wild? Maybe it's Huntmaster... I think the planetary shock arts of the new shock arts on arena are better. I like the planetary ones. I know what snow forest was for now. Why would the snow forest matter? Oh, you're saying not in this hand specifically, but you're saying you know what this is for. Oh, if you steal field of the dead, I get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, this hand is so good. I just don't know what to put back. 
I'll put back natural order. I know that sounds insane, but... It was between Eno and Huntmaster. That was the decision. Right, I'd much rather just have like a really fast win out against them. This is this is my best card in the matchup, not natural order. Um Do I get greedy? So I could channel Kami to guarantee my fourth land drop next turn, or 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 I could grazer Kami and just hope to draw land. I feel like I should probably not get greedy. Yeah, I won't get greedy. Stacy's mom has got it going. Did you know that Stacy's mom has got something going on? Surveil the land. Well, I only have I only have one surveil land in my deck. If I had a second surveil land, I probably would have taken the other line. Well, even in this situation, the bowmat wouldn't do that much because I have to play the huntmaster, put the bowmat in hand, but then I can't play the bowmat and. Like, I only have four mana on turn four, right? I can't Bowmat and... You, you, see, you see what I'm saying? I mean, they're dead anyway, so who cares, but... Like, I go turn three Huntmaster, put Bowmat in hand, turn four Winota, but I can't Winota and Bowmat at the same turn. Should be an Ornithopter. Oh, actually, that's a good call. Because you can go Huntmaster for Ornithopter. Yeah, 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 okay. I see what you're saying. Ornithopter would be a little bit better. They could still have natural order here. Uh, what can I hunt master for? I can't hunt master. For oh, I can hunt master for giant killer. Okay, we'll do that then. Search. Get killer. And this beats Atraxa. Uh, I'll just play this, because I don't need the giant killer now. I can just wait till their turn. Go. In love with Stacy's mom. I'm in love with Chat's mom. I don't know where I was going with that. That was kind of weird. I put a Traxa onto the battlefield. Oh, okay. Well, Giant Killer still kills that. Weird. Don't weird me. I'm just telling you how I feel, you know? Just just the guy, all right? Uh, four, seven. You're still dead. Oh, th this doesn't. this isn't face up. I thought the Giant Killer was face up. It's an easy attack all first. Oh, to see if I hit the agent? Yeah, I guess I could have. Uh, this one. Not right, cool. They're off it. <clears throat> yeah, for some reason I thought they saw what we got off Huntmaster. I guess that's not how the card works. Easy dubs, though. This deck feels pretty good. I like it. Um, attracts, uh, oh, we have double colony garden and the attracts in hand. This is kind of weird, isn't it? I'm going to ship this. <laughs> this one's worse. I mean, if we can find lands, the sand's not bad. All right. MTG historic ban list. Banned cards. Oh, my hand's worse. Standard, Modern, Vintage, Legacy, Commander Band Cards, Omegalol, Block Format. <clears throat> what, do, what do you think the worst card banned in Block Format is? 
Intangible Virtue, Lingering Souls, Aether Vial, Artifact Lands, Arcbound Ravager, Disciple of the Vault, Skull Clamp, Lin Civi, Rashad and Poric Guys, Cradle, Memory Jar, Sarah Sanctum, Time Sprouts, Laird Academy, Voltaic Key was banned in Block, hello. Windfall, Curse Scroll, Squandered Resources, Amulet of Quaz, Thawing Glaciers, Brother. Easy Virtue? Yeah, Virtue was like kind of whatever. Oh, I don't have a creature in hand. Uh, That's awkward. Whoops, I thought I had a creature. My bad. <laughs> Whoops, my bad, my bad. Amulet is anti. Oh, that... Was there other anti-cards in, in Ice Age then? Or was that the only one? Popper ban list? I don't know what half of these cards are. Stirring Bard. Under Dark Explorer. Vicious Battle Rager. Nobody knows what these cards are. Pioneer ban cards. Historic ban cards. No current suspensions. I didn't ask for that. I asked for ban cards. Agent of Treachery, Blood Moon, Fetchlands, Brainstorm, Channel Counterspell, Dark Ritual, Demonic Tutor, Field of the Dead, F Intruder Alarm is banned? What the fuck? Why? Okay, so they're obviously show and tell, right? Do we just put this in our hand? I think we do. Kind of annoying they know about it, but whatever. Just they could have thoughts ease. Uh, I still kind of want to hold this. Because if I draw any random dude, then I can play it, get Winota next turn. It is four power, though, and they're at 12. All right, I'll play it. <clears throat> What else is banned? Necropotence, Natural Order, Memory Lapse. Oh, what? Wait. Do they not know what Agent of Treachery does? <laughs> uh, Hello? <laughs> Dude, it was literally face up. I, I don't know what to tell you. That card was... It was... You saw it. You actually saw it. Did they maybe think that I didn't know... Maybe, maybe they thought that I was not going to put it into play. Uh, okay. Cool. That was good. Good testing. Excellent testing. Can't you also just get Winota to try to spike an agent if they play a show and tell? Uh, sh oh, you're saying off of the, the once? Well, I didn't have land four, right? I didn't have land four at the time. Like vultures. I think I just submit. No, we want... No, I kind of want Titan over Crater Hoof. Should we cut Atraxa for Crater Hoof? I'm really never going for Atraxa against them, right? I don't think I'm ever going for Atraxa against them. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this is a banger playlist. All right, Tunneling Cat. I, I took me a little bit before, and Chad had to explain it to me. TLDR, it's just Karn the Great Crater. That's why we have a Winota in our sideboard. That's the TLDR on it, though. It's it's just a Karn the Great Crater. But you have to exile a creature from your hand to get the card from your sideboard. I don't think I want to keep this. I mean, I'm on the draw. Oh, I'm going to go to five. Okay, keep this on five. Second Kami and Natural Order go back. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <clears throat> Do I care if they take my once? Not really. And the reason I'm not casting once here is because I want to get information on what they're taking before I decide what I want to get off once. And I don't really care if they take the once. It's whatever. <laughs> that's, that's a nice draw step. It's an excellent, excellent draw step. Perfect. I mean, honestly, just perfect. Maybe I should be saving the commie to channel, but it is three mana. Oh, 
the one time I want to hit land off once upon a time. Well, the thing is, if I play them once upon a time and hit a land, they just take the Boromir, which I guess is fine, but... All right, bro, you're at 14. Good luck. Go. Yep. Yeah, they had double Thoughtseize anyways. I mean, it would have mattered if I hit a land off the once upon a time. Right. Well, no, because then they just take the Kami and then take the Boromir. So it kind of didn't matter, yeah. I mean, now if I draw back-to-back -back lands, maybe. But they probably just have show-and-tell. Oh, really? Oh, they can just get show-and-tell. They definitely play a show-and-tell on the board, right? I would imagine they do. Their card isn't also a 4-3, though. They tutored for Fatal Push. Alright, I'm with you. Now, the question is... What do we get off of Huntmaster? I could get Skyclave for land 4. I could just get Winota and hope to rip a fetch. I don't have red mana. Um, if I'm under the assumption they're casting natural order next or show and tell next turn, I could also get Boromir because that shuts off omniscience. But if I, yeah, because they don't know which one I get off the Huntmaster, right? I can also get Archon. I don't have an agent in the sideboard, but I do have either Archon or Boromir, which are both good against show and tell omniscience. Not as good against show and tell Atraxa though, right? Yeah, I could get Atraxa. And that kind of plays around show and tell the best. It's not bad. I kind of wish I had a Rex Age. This is tough. All right, I'm gonna get a Traxa. And again, what's nice about the the Grizzled Hunt Master is they don't they don't see which card I get, so they don't know that I have this. Well, here's the issue with Boromir, is what happens if I get Boromir, and they just go show and tell Atraxa? Like, that's really bad, right? Okay. Uh, well, they would normally be dead, but we don't have the Crater Hoof in our deck. <laughs> so, they're not dead. Um, but... Uh, I can just get the Galta. Yeah, we just get the Galta here, right? I do have Galt on my deck still, right? Let me just double check. Yeah, okay, it's there. Uh, red source. Sack this homie, get Galta. Galta put a tracks into play. Let me go. I already played a land this turn. So we go fetch for surveil, instant enchantment, and then just get Boromir? Because Boromir plays around them have Ah, oh, see, this is... Mm, this is awkward, right? Because Boromir plays around Omniscience, but Winota plays around Atraxa. I guess, if I get Boromir and they put Atraxa into play, am I even behind? I don't think I am. Yeah, I don't think I'm behind if that's the case. I think it's just fine if that happens. <clears throat> Is that we just both have Atraxas. I can also just once upon a time into a Winota. But this makes it so I don't die to Omniscience. Or they just don't find anything. Easy. Ooh, Diamond 1? Any uh, any Mythic gamers? I didn't think I was going to get... I did not think I was going to hit Mythic today. But now we got to keep going, right? Can't stop now. My streamer, Mythic Gamer. Alright, easy dubs. Let's just keep it going. We're vibing. Next game.